Odense. Odense. Yeah. Odense. Odense. Yeah. Odense. I'm working on it, Martin. I'm hey, working on hey, it. Hey. My we Danish. just need, need to for you, you to visit Denmark a few more times, then you'll get it. Believe me. From your lips to God's ears. <laughs> I love it here. We had a great time in Copenhagen last summer, and then coming here to Odense. 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 Close enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tanya Ting. About to do her thing, the 22-year-old, ranked second in the world from Chinese Taipei. And she is taking on, of course, one of the favorites, one of the crowd favorites. This is Maya Yeager, the 24-year-old, who's had a good season, ranked 28th in the world. She finished fourth at stage one in Shanghai, just missing out on a bronze medal at stage one competed in Antalya as well. And of course, she was the gold medalist at the World Championships in Belek three years ago, 13, 2013, on the beach in Turkey. So Maya Yeager, and she's one of those archers you were talking about who's living in Korea now yes, and training. Exactly. Yeah, and she was uh, really unlucky. Uh, well, Denmark was this year. We didn't have any spots at the Olympics, and she was like devastated uh, for us. She's worked so hard to get there and had so many almost there, barely there. So she's been home working harder than ever to, to come here and, and uh, make a great show. And of course the host nation gets to appoint an archer. They have a spot and that spot is being filled by Maya Yeager, who faces the very, very talented Tanya Ting from Chinese Taipei, who is averaging 9.2 per arrow, 51 wins in her career, and Maya Yeager Starts out very strong with a nine. Got the crowd behind her. Solid start for Tanya Ting. And very close to that line. They put the asterisk up beside it. And Maya Yeager might have the lead here in this set. It's too really close to call. Too soon to call, too close. Yeah. We'll wait for the judges. Of course, Maya's got to finish up with a strong shot right oh, here. Otherwise, it's happy about that. You know, academic. Now it's an academic point. Yeah. So even if that second arrow is a 10, it won't it change. No. You could see right right where the release was that she was just not happy about that. So the judges will take a look at it, but again, in this set system, it won't matter much. It won't change the outcome of the set. The set will belong to Tan Ya Ting, of Chinese Taipei, who was fifth in Rio at the Olympics. Tanya Ting, the only recurve archer in women's competition here in Denmark to medal individually at all three stages of this year's 2016 Hyundai Archery World Cup Tour. She picked up a silver medal in Shanghai, bronze medal in Medellin, and a bronze medal in Antalya. That's consistency, Martin. It's uh, amazing Incredible season. consistency. Yeah, exactly. Especially in this high end game that it's like, there's so many that can shoot on that level. So for you to be there all the time, it's amazing strength. Just to qualify and get to the medal matches, let alone yep, yep. medal when you get there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing strength. Each time you show up, you've got about 300 other people with bows and arrows who are pretty good. Yep. And you got to deal with them for about three or four days and work your way through the field. And hopefully, at the end of the day or the end of the week, you get to compete on TV. Yeah. Oh. Doesn't always happen. <laughs> and nobody, including Martin Damsbo, takes that for granted. Six. Maya, oh my. I'm a little bit biased, go Maya. <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while, we allow a little cheering in the press yeah. box. 
Hey, hey. I've known Maya is uh, from the local club close to, to Odense here. We started in the same club. I've known Maya since she was, I think, nine years old, coming into the archery club. Like wow. uh, She no. wanted to try and shoot a bow. Mm -hmm. More or less from the first day, she was like, she had skills for it. I just remember that little girl just working her, her way up. And from the first day, she said, oh, her dream was to come and shoot for the big team and see for the Olympics and they want to be recurve, not compound, but many other tries out. It was recurve all the way. And yes, it went all in for moving to Korea some years ago. So, so yeah, it's, she, she's also one of the really hard workings that, that, that deserve to be out there. Well, her dedication paid off in that set. As she's living part of that dream, she wins that set here in her native country of Denmark. Takes the two points and ties the match at two apiece with Tanya Ting. Tanya Ting competing in her first World Cup finals. A lot of a lot of these archers really in their first World Cup finals. A lot of newcomers. Again, this this season is, has been a little bit off, uh, different because of the Olympics. So we only had three World Cup uh, stages instead of you have four, where you can remove the worst one. That means that a lot of the ones I've been there many times, where if they haven't had time to go to all three of them, or if they had one bad there and where they normally catch up on the next one, they couldn't do it. So the uh, same as in the compound, you'll see a lot of people that hasn't been there before, uh, and it's uh, yeah, it's it's always different. Some new blood here in Denmark, Wensa. Along with Martin Damsbo, Carl Arkey here at the King's Garden on a gorgeous Sunday morning. Hey, nice, hey. A gorgeous Styled shot. In. Really nice shot. Tanya Ting setting the bar high for Maya Yeager. There's breeze in the trees there. He's getting notes from, from the coach Neil Stahl to yeah. set her side a little bit. Hey. Tanya Ting following instructions perfectly. A pair of tens. Yeah. Yep. What a shot by Maya Jaeger. Appreciative crowd nine. watches as Tanya Ting puts this set out of reach with so that nine. So Maya will have a free shot there. Good to get that out of the system. So she drops the set. Tanya Ting, maybe more correctly, takes the set as she moves ahead four to two on set points. We mentioned this before, Maya Yeager has for the last three years called Korea her home. She lives there, trains there with one of the legendary coaches in Korea. Her parents still live here in Denmark, so she's happy to come back here. But boy, it's it, it really, no matter where you move away from home, it, it's tough to be away from home. And for that long, it just shows the dedication Maya has to her sport. Exactly, and especially also to a country that's so different from Denmark, whole different uh, cultural thing and, and language for that matter. It's, uh, it's amazing to see her and, and Johan that they're actually now sort of at the training field that they are actually translating for the Koreans when there's TV interviews. It's, uh, they're not perfect in uh, fluent yet, but, but they are they're good, good there. enough. They're good getting enough. there. So, and that's, that's also a way of dedicating and showing dedication to your sport that you actually go all in, throw everything behind and just go for your dream. It takes a lot of, bra of uh, bravery to, to do that. Maya Yeager all in. And trying to get back into a tie with Tanya yeah. Ting, and that's a good start. The first step to try to get back into a four all tie. Hey. Matches that perfectly. It's always interesting to see how these competitors raise the level of their game after their competitor shoots a 10. Yeah. They'll step up and shoot a 10. Yep. Another 10. <laughs> nice group there. Ms. Tan with an eight. 
That's an opening for Maya to tie the, the match. Advantage for Denmark right here. Can she take advantage? She does. The set belongs to Maya Jaeger. The cheers ringing out as Tanya Ting. A really nice follow up. Mm -hmm. Something that might help carry over to the next set. Yeah. Which could be the deciding set. We will see. Tanya Ting, great competitor, along with Maya Yeager. Let's try to think back. Maya, I believe when she won that World Championships in Belek. 2013 was that not in a shoot off as well yes it was down to and like it was almost the exact yes. same spot and they had to lay the one target over, over the, the other yeah. to see how the holes lined up it was super super close super super uh, it shooting was amazing it, it was it was uh, especially for also for, for denmark denmark had a really good year that year and for us to have a recurve meddling all the way in the top it was it, it made huge difference in mm -hmm. for, for us here in denmark so you would just come yeah. off great performance in Paris yeah, at the World too. Cup Finals. Yeah, that too. And, and the women's team as well, uh, recurve team, and our men's compound team. And that was a really good year. Also a really good year. <laughs> uh, 2013, I remember it well. <laughs> Rocadero Gardens. Yeah, that was an amazing venue as well. It was. Great venue here in Denmark. Great setting, great weather, great archery. Tied at four here in the fourth and final quarterfinals match. Yeah. Nine. Drops a little low for Tanya Ting. Still a solid shot. See, just hear the cameras buzzing. Yep. Now she's got him buzzing. Maya yeah, Jaeger. Tanya Ting putting up the fight. Good look at the grip by Maya Jaeger. Oh, that was good. Good throw. You see a bow on just moving out in the second. Saved it, kept it in the nine ring. They're tied at 19 yeah. in this pivotal ten. fifth set. And a nine 10 by oh, Tanya yeah. Ting puts all the pressure in the world on yeah. Maya Yeager right now. She needs a 10 to stay in the game. Anything less, see? and Tanya Ting will be oh. moving on. Maya Yeager, oh. and you can see from her expression as she released it was almost as though she was saying, oh, no. Yeah. You could see why. A six on the final shot by Maya Yeager, who was so good up till then. But then again, that's what Tanya Ting did. She put yes. a lot of pressure on Maya Yeager. Yeah. That's also a big thing when you go in on the match. You know who decides who's start and who's not. Uh, so if you, as a shooter that starts, you can apply pressure on your opponent. And Tanya Ting certainly did that, but a great, great job turned in by Maya Yeager, who gave these fans here in Denmark a lot to cheer about and a lot to enjoy here on a Sunday morning in Uinsa, the home of Hans Christian Andersen and Maya Yeager trying to write the fairy tale story, but it was not to be. As Tanya Ting walks away with a six to four victory in a match, whose score is reflective of just how close that was. So as we look back on the first four matches in the women's recurve in the quarterfinals, two Korean archers, Jamie Sun and Kibo Bay, both, both moving on.